Hey, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. This is Cade with Skywolf Game Studios, and I'm back for another tutorial. What is today's tutorial? Hmm. Did you know that you can take Blender files and put them into GitHub Desktop and use that for source control? Yep, it's entirely possible. So let's take a quick look. So what I want you to do is wherever your Steam application is or Blender is stored, um, just go ahead and open up Blender. Why did I stay Steam? I don't know, but um, anyways, that's besides the point. All right. So what we want to do is go ahead and open up our project, and here we have a default Blender cube. So this is a good example. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get into a GitHub Desktop and go to File. Uh, if you don't have this installed, I'll leave the link, or you can just uh, Google it and download the desktop version, because that's the easiest way to go about it. So what I want to do is go to File, New, uh, my give the project a name for your repository, my Blender files. Uh, these are Blender project files, or whatever you want to name it. It's up to you. Um, you can put a readme if you want to leave notes and whatnot. You don't need to worry about any ignore or license unless you want to share it and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and create that and then publish it. And then here you can choose if you want to keep it private or not so that nobody else has access to it. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and untick that to make it public. And if you have an organization, you can connect that there. Uh, I'm not going to use one for this, so let's go ahead and publish that. Now what I want to do is right click on the repository, and if you go to show in an explorer, that seems set up because it's got the git attributes file. So we want to go here and copy the, the directory. And go over here, and first we want to make sure this is actually live view on GitHub. And it's right here. So we know it's working right there. So in here, we're just going to save the cube. Um, just so this is a different and we can um, differentiate it from the default, I'm just going to create a bunch of cubes just so you know that is the same thing and I'm not like cheating or anything like that so now that we have like a three random cubes we're just going to go ahead and file save as and let's put that uh, directory in there right here let's just go ahead and name this blender there jit source sc or something whatever you want to name your file is fine go ahead and save that and if we look at the desktop, you can see the file right here. So I click off of that. Uh, make sure this is checked. Um, I'm just, I selected that. But anyway, the green plus, it means that it's adding that. So let's say we started their source, control, and new blender project or whatever. You can use the title and skip the um, description, but it's just kind of helpful. That way, if you end up with the same title, you don't get confused. So if that's good, go ahead and commit that to main, and then publish it. Push to origin. And how you can check is go back to had that on here. And if you refresh, right now there's nothing in there. You can see. Uh, that blender file is right there. Now, the thing to watch here is how big the file gets. If it gets over 100 megabytes, the you'll need to go through a process and enable the Git LFS for large files. Um, it's a bit of a pain, so I would <laughs> advise not going that far. Um, but typically, most of my blender files, personally, I haven't had that problem unless you're using massive textures that are highly detailed. And there's a couple tricks you can do to reduce those, uh, but we'll save that for another video. 
Um, but anyway, so that is working. And let's just go ahead and I'm going to grab these. Go ahead and edit those. We're going to grab the face. I'm just going to make a quick change. That. 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 And I don't know. Okay, so now the file is different. All right, let's go ahead and save that file again. You don't have to do any iterations. Um, I know I put the zero one, but don't even, for this, you don't even have to worry about that. So just go ahead and save. Um, and if you look back at the desktop, it's now moved the original to a blend. We don't actually need that. You can keep it if you want. Um, this is the one you want them to pay attention to. It's got a yellow dot, which means it's modified. So, it is Blender Mesh. It is Mesh Design, or whatever you want to do. Go ahead and fill that out and commit that to me. And then go ahead and just push that. And now, if you look back over at the project, it's going to show out the updated file. And it was just updated right now. So, if I go here, file new, I'm doing this intentional just to show you this is actually working. Um, what I am going to do is where uh, Blender files. What? And I am actually going to delete that entire project. And if you're still not convinced, go ahead and just trash all that. Empty. And then delete that. I had some other files in there apparently. All right, so let's go back over here. And now it's gone. So we're going to clone that again. And it's back. So now go there, open. Here it is again. Wasn't there, now it's back. So we open. Ta da! So that's how you do easy source control with uh, Blender Files and GitHub Desktop. Um, there is a cool alternative. If you don't want to use this method, uh, you can store much larger um, projects. It's called Mudstack, and it looks like this. Uh, they do have a desktop app for Windows and Mac, and they give you quite a big amount of space. To it actually looks like this. Mudstack. So this is another great alternative. You can create your own folders and workspaces and stick the files in here, and it will actually track the uh, current version and it'll stack them over time. You can even view them. You right click and then preview. Last I knew, this was having issues with uh, blend viewing blend files. I'm not sure if they fixed that. Um, but the file structure does work. So that's another useful uh, tool for source control with your models. Okay, so I hope this helps and you all have a great afternoon. Until the next video.